What's going on guys, it's Caleb Curl back here with a new video today. And before I get too deep into today's topic, I just wanna say thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm sure many of you probably saw my interview that I did with Mr. Tony Gaskin this last week. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone that took the time to watch that video. I appreciate all the positive feedback. And also thank you to everyone that took the time to DM me on Instagram and just send me you know, words of encouragement. I really appreciate it. And today's topic actually comes from one of my subscribers. They asked me to talk a little bit about self-love and my routine and like what I do, you know, as a single man being by myself. And so, whew, it's a very long topic. I'm gonna keep it short, maybe break this up into a couple of videos. But um, self-love has become a huge part of my life, especially in the season of like just being completely by myself. Like I've said in some of my other videos, you know, last year I made a big move um, and I moved to a new city and I'm, this is the first time like where I've moved and I'm completely by myself. I have no like close relatives or friends by, it's just me. And at first it sucked, man, because I was just constantly just working and just coming home and just kind of like being in this slump of like, man, like I don't have anybody to hang out with or do anything with. But I finally got to a point where I was like, you know what, man, like I, I got to get out of the house. I got to be comfortable with spending time with myself. I need to go and treat myself. So at the be at this time last year, I was blessed with an opportunity to be able to live on the beach. That had been something that I've been praying for for a very long time. And God, you know, finally opened that door for me. So I was living on the beach at the time. And um, I made a point this time last year that, man, I'm going to start just forcing myself to do stuff and get out of my comfort zone and just get out of the house. So every day, like my first step was just every day, I'm going to take my beach chair. I'm going to leave my phone in my apartment. I'm going to unplug and just sit on the beach and watch the sunset and just, you know, get deep in thought, meditate, talk to God, just relax, be one with God, one with nature and one with myself. And as I did this every single day, it opened my eyes up to so much more within myself. I began to build so much more confidence. I began to be more confident in just being alone. Like I snapped out of that mode of like feeling like I always need friends or family around to go and do things. Um, God just began to reveal more to me because I was unplugging from everything else. I was just being completely present in that moment. And so learning that, that was something that I decided that, hey, I need to implement this into my daily routine. And that's something that I do every single day. Now, I don't always have the opportunity to go and sit on the beach. But one thing that I do every single day, I wake up at 4 a.m. And between 4 and 5 a.m., I make sure I have my quiet time. Um, first off, just praying, reading my Bible, spending time with God. And then just, you know, thinking about my day, thinking about myself and writing, you know, my goals down. And so that first piece of self-love that I think is very important is getting to know yourself, getting quiet, being comfortable with being in solitude. Like it is okay to be by yourself. You don't have to always be codependent on your friends or family or having somebody else to go and hang out and do things with. Sometimes it's okay to just chill, be by yourself, find a nice quiet spot, you know, outside somewhere. I'm a big outside person, so I love being outside, whether by the beach, under the stars hiking, like all of that is me. Like I love stuff like that. So for me personally, like that's my go-to place or sometimes just going out on my patio and having hot tea. I love tea. So just little things like that, just putting myself in a comfortable environment um, where I can just focus on myself and unplug from the world and not be bothered with anybody's opinions or just distractions or noise. Just chill out and just really focus on self and just getting a deep thought. And I think that's so important for us to do that because, you know, if, if you've watched my other videos, you know, I, my personal belief is like God being, being my first love, second is myself, understanding myself, and then third, loving my neighbors. But if we never get to know ourselves and learn how to love ourselves, how can we ever get to that third phase of loving our neighbors as ourselves? So that's why I think it's so vital in self-love to have that quiet time to be able to get away and just get quiet at some point in time, each and every day, even if just for about 10 minutes, you know, that 10 minutes will change your life if you practice it every single day and just clear your head and just get into your thoughts, you know, and I don't mean like get in your thoughts and get like depressed and get in a funk, like just, just think about your life, think about what it is that you desire to do, your purpose, like healthy thoughts, you know, spending time in prayer, like is very, very vital for me. So that's the first piece I think is knowing yourself and being able to have that quiet time and implementing that into your daily routine. The next thing that I think is very important is self-care and treating yourself. 
So, you know, once I got very comfortable and just going somewhere and being by myself in public, I decided, you know, what, I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to start love, loving myself right now and treating myself like I desire for somebody else to love me. So I'll go get a nice haircut. I'll go get a pedicure and I'll, you know, get dressed up in, you know, one of my favorite outfits, put on my favorite cologne and go to my favorite restaurant and just take myself on a nice date. At first, I used to think this is very weird, like, man, I'm like about to do all of this to just go on a date by myself. But this is something that I do every so often. I'd say at least twice a month. I try and go somewhere and try a new food spot. I love eating. Um, and, you know, doing this, I'm showing myself that, hey, man, I appreciate you. You know, I thank you. You know, I love you. Um, and I feel like I'm preparing myself um, for love. I'm setting a standard for myself. I'm loving myself through action. Um, so often we have these standards of how we want other people to love us, but we don't even show our own selves that, that love first. And so that's one thing personally that I, I like to do and just, just pamper myself and go on a nice date. And while I'm sitting there, you know, I people watch, you know, I peep the scene, what's going on. I order my favorite meal, whatever it is I'm feeling that I want for that day. And then, you know, I'll, um, I'll journal on my phone, you know, I'll write a little bit about my goals, about what's going on currently in my life. Um, and it just puts me in a very... Um, euphoric place like just nothing else matters I'm just focused on that moment and it just feels so good and whenever I do that I randomly bump into other people while I'm out and it's not I don't mean like a romantic way but just good platonic conversations just spark up when somebody sees you out by yourself it's it's like it's a rarity because people are like you know where are your friends you know where's your family why are you here by yourself and you say man I'm just you know I'm out just chilling you know just wanted to you know take myself on a date people look at you funny but it sparks conversation. So to go to to go back to my last video that I made about you know finding your soulmate, and I and I don't think personally that we should go out and try and position ourselves with that mindset of trying to like find someone or position ourselves to attract that person. I think just loving yourself and moments like that of just going out and being solely focused on man, I'm going out to just have a good night and just have a date night for myself. People notice you, you know, people might come up to you and you may find that person that, that bumps into you and may spark up, you know, a small conversation, but your mindset is not in that space of like, I'm trying to find somebody, you're just focused on you. And again, I've said this multiple times, I believe that we attract where we're at. And when we're in a space where we're just truly loving ourselves, we're healing from everything and, and from the, our past, if we've gone through, you know, breakups, um, situationships, whatever, you know, we're in a space where we're really like trying to do the work and loving ourselves first. We attract so much more to us, so many healthy things and healthy people. So self-care is another big piece that I think that is important in self-love. Take yourself out sometime and just go on a date, whatever it is that you enjoy doing. Every so often, make it a, a habit that you go and you date yourself first. And that way you're starting early to, um, prepare yourself for love by loving yourself first. And lastly, I think it is important to invest in yourself. Um, getting a mentor, hiring coaches, hiring a personal trainer, um, hiring a business coach for, you know, to help you get your idea off the ground and to um, help you propel forward. That is something this past year that I was adamant about and I have seen so much growth and change in my life. Um, and to take it back a step further, Investing in yourself is sometimes just sacrifice. It's not always making a monetary investment, but I don't enjoy waking up every day at 4 a.m. And, you know, I enjoy spending time with God, but I don't want to do that at 4 a.m. But I know it's a habit that's going to make me a better uh, person in the future. I understand that every single thing that I do every single day will pay off in the long run. And it's going, my, my habits create a better me. I don't enjoy after my 4 a.m. waking up and spending time with God going to the gym at 5 o'clock. Like, no, like I enjoy going to the gym, but nobody wants to go at 5 o'clock. But again, it goes back to sacrifice. I sacrifice, you know, sleeping in and waking up early, you know, spending time with God, getting my spirit in check, getting my body in check. And going to the gym does not always feel good. It hurts. Sometimes you're sore. But again, that sacrifice of, of going in there, breaking down your muscles, is all for um, a, a better gain in the end. Um, and I've also learned 
with sacrifice, having to sacrifice some friendships and relationships with certain friends and family members. I've had to learn how to love some people from a distance um, and loving myself because who we hang around is who we become. And as we continue to grow and change in life, we don't always progress and evolve with those same friendships. Some people we grow apart from, it's still love at the end of the day, but it's like, man, you got your life, I got my life, and we just, you know, we're, we're on two different roads. So I think that's another piece and sacrifice, but getting back to investing in yourself, um, you know, I've recently hired a personal trainer, like as a man like this was something I really had to humble myself and not let my ego get the best of me. Um, because I work out a lot and I'm like, man, I don't need to hire somebody else to, you know, work out with me or tell me like what to do. But I'm so glad I made that investment in myself because I have a really great trainer now. His name, his YouTube channel is uh, Brandon R. Powell. His Instagram is um, at I am Brandon R. Powell at Way of Life Fitness. Really great um, trainer. And since I've been with him, I have somebody now. Um, that pushes me to go the extra mile. That's helping me to become even better. I'm a strong believer in iron sharpens iron. And so that's something new um, recently that I've done in my life to make that investment because I want my body to be at its very best. While I'm in this temple that God has given me, I want to look my very best because I love myself. I want to feel good and I want to look good. And overall, I think that goes into my self-image, how I feel about myself from the inside and how I look on the outside. Something else, like I've taken um, many classes this past year, I've um, been to many seminars, um, I've taken certification courses, like so many different things that I have done um, to invest in myself, to show myself that man, I believe in your dreams. You are worth the, the investment, whether it's financial, whether it's your time, whatever it is, it is so important to invest in yourself. You gotta believe in your, your dreams, your goals, and your purpose first before anybody else. The same thing, just overall the topic of love. You gotta love you first before anybody else can come along and try and love you. You need to be healed, you need to be whole, you need to be sound, you need to be complete by yourself in this season. So overall, that's just my thoughts on self-love, knowing yourself, taking care of yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, doing the work that you need to do to invest in yourself. If you gotta spend a little money to go to a seminar, to hire a life coach, to hire a personal trainer, do that. If that's gonna help you to become a better person, you gotta put some skin in the game. Everybody talks a big talk about how they wanna grow and how they wanna do certain things, but nobody is willing to make that investment that it takes. When it, when it comes down to having to spend money or to sacrifice certain things, you, you realize certain things about yourself. And another piece of sacrifice is just having those real conversations with yourself. We all know that we have a higher being in us. We all know that we can be a better person, but sometimes we get comfortable and lazy in just who we are and we don't wanna change, we don't wanna progress anymore. But sometimes you gotta have those hard conversations with yourself like, look man, you've been slacking over here, you know you can do better, you know you can be better. Be your own accountability partner first. Before anybody else, it's great to have friends and different people, but when you can learn to just depend on yourself, to love yourself, to motivate yourself, it is a powerful place to be. Um, so overall, that's my thoughts on self-love. Um, again, going back to my routine, um, I wake up at 4 a.m., I spend my quiet time with God, 4 to 5 a.m., 5 to 6, I'm in the gym, I'm working out. 6 to 7, I'm at home, I'm eating, spend a little time with my dog. By 8 o'clock, I'm out working all day till probably about 6 o'clock. I try and come home at that point in time and shower, eat, and spend some time with my dog, have some more reading time to invest in my mind, my mental space, and try and be in bed by 10 o'clock. Um, and that has helped me personally grow so much it's because I'm forcing myself to stick to certain time restraints to know that, okay, at this time I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and making sure every single day that I'm taking care of every aspect of my being. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you all for watching this video. I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to DM me on Instagram at Caleb Curl, and I'll be back with a new video soon. Peace.